Hi guys. I thought I'd do some comparative testing between different ferrods which are commonly available in camping shops where I live. Three of the main ones that are the most common are the ones produced by Bush Tracks, which is the one I usually use. Because it is the cheapest for the amount you get. I also got a Swedish Fire Steel 2.0. And if we look at it compared to the Bush Tracks Ferrocium rod that I keep on my keychain, it's the same diameter. Though it's slightly shorter. So, I this is my first Swedish fire steel. Even though they're the same diameter, and the Bush Tracks one is slightly longer, the Bush Tracks one costs thirteen dollars. The Swedish fire steel costs thirty. Yeah, this is my first Swedish fire steel because the one made by Bush Tracks is half the price and works great as long as you have a good knife or something to strike with and I'll make this a point I use the back of my knife I see a lot of people use the blade of their knife um, that has always just seemed like a very bad idea to me because you're running your blade sideways across a piece of steel don't you think that'll blunt it? Besides, that 90 degree angle on the back of your knife helps you push sparks forwards. The third fire steel I went and got was the Bear Grylls one by Gerber. Not a fan of Gerber products. And we'll see, this is... appears to be slightly thinner than both the Swedish fire steel and the Bush tracks fire steel and about two thirds the length and yet this is $30 the bush track one is $13 I also have the Bear Grylls ultimate survival knife with the fire steel on it so we'll compare that one as well so we can see if you really do get what you pay for with ferro rods or if these more expensive ones are just more expensive because of the name I just tested all of them and well forgot to hit record so just doing it again bear grills fire starter with the bear grills striker That's just sad. Why don't we try it with the knife? The Bear Girl's knife. Better, still pretty sad. With an off mill 10. But using a fur rod, an off mill carbon is my favorite striker. They shoot awesome sparks. In fact, even with the cheap ferrocerium rod made by bush tracks I have managed to set the handle on fire with the sparks on several occasions that's how good they are so let's see what it can do don't know about you but from where I'm sitting that is obviously the best spark out of using the three different strikers. Overall, performance pretty sad. And this is the most expensive for the amount of ferrocene you get. Next, we have 
the Swedish Fire Steel with its own striker. Good burst right there. But to be honest, those sparks haven't got any mass. They don't travel very far. Alright, let's try it with the bear grills in life. Why not? Slightly better sparks. <coughs> and now, the Opnil. I can see them hit the ground better than the bear grills. Though this is still 30 bucks. Now, for the cheapest one, the bush tracks. This is the striker that comes with it, and I can see a good cluster of sparks and they make it all the way to the ground and bounce. <coughs> Bear Grylls knife. Still light sparks, but a lot more of them. And I can see them hit the ground, shower over it, you know, bounce and spread out, and then pop. Now, with the op mill. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! I can really hear them go and thud on the ground. And they all together and they just go bam! Right where I am them. So, <sighs> These two are probably the best. Swedish Fire Steel. Shoots a lot of them, but they're quite light sparks. The Bush Tracks. Shoots lots of big sparks. So, yeah, so these are probably the two better ones. But what's the big difference? Well, this shoots lots of little sparks. This shoots slightly fatter sparks. <coughs> this will shoot them more in the direction you want them because they do a bit more mass. These will spread out a little more. But when you write down on your tinder, it's not going to really make that big of a difference. At least I don't think it will. So what can we conclude as the biggest difference? I don't know about you, but I reckon it's the price. $13? $30. Oh. And while we've got it, why not the barrel rod that comes with the Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival Knife? That's probably... That versus the Bear Grylls Fire Starter. Bad as that one is, the smaller one's even worse. <coughs> Ugh, may as well try, try it with the up mill. Even though this one costs the most amount for the amount of ferrocium you get, it shoots the worst sparks. And the ones that you get off of the ferro rod that come with the ultimate survival knife, sure aren't ultimate. So my recommendation is 
get the cheap bush tracks one but if you cannot get the bush tracks one and you have to choose between a Swedish fire steel or the Gerber Bear Grylls fire starter go with the Swedish fire steel you, between these two you will get more ferrocium for your money and the sparks will be better so yeah thank you Gerber for the consistent level of quality or lack thereof